Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Aries. I hope you guys are all doing great. I already tried to film your video and I had an interruption. So I'm, I didn't, I didn't want to lose, I already was like reading it and there was already a message here. So I didn't want to have to restart it and lose the message or, you know, whatever. So um, as usual, this will be a general collective reading. Um, it will not resonate with all of you. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Um, but if you have someone rising or Venus placements in Aries or you are dealing with someone that do, does have those birth chart placements, this reading could resonate with you. Please take a moment to read through the description box, especially if it is your first time here. And if it is, welcome to my channel. Personal reading information is in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. So what I was saying was that somebody feels like use you as their wish fulfillment or some of you guys... <sighs> What is the, um, see the judgment in reverse Scorpio energy. So we have the four of wands in reverse clarified by the 10 of cups. We have the five of swords clarified by the emperor Aries energy. We have the page of swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy clarified by the queen of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, the nine of cups clarified by the seven of wands, judgment in reverse on the back of the deck, which is Scorpio energy, the hierophant, Taurus energy, the king of cups. Yeah, I swear. Somebody views you as their wish fulfillment and they don't want to lose you. Like they feel like somebody's going to end up like defending you or defending this connection that like, they feel like kind of even like possessive over you. Like they feel like you are theirs. Like I'm not even. I also like there's this energy of there's a lot of good things that are coming in for you or that will be coming in for you. And like someone feeling a need to like protect what they've manifested for themselves or what they've built or what they've worked so hard for that type of thing but somebody is definitely um having some conflict within a family situation now take it how it resonates this could be you within a family situation with somebody or this is somebody external with you that's in a family situation and they're having conflict like they just they there's it's very unstable um they're fighting with this person they're arguing with this person it's just very unstable and i feel like they could even be leaving that situation okay but there's a lot of conflict surrounding this or this person's pretty conflicted about having to do this but it's like somebody's watching you i feel like you're in like this queen of pentacles energy either this person has a there's a feminine energy that's watching you it could be an earth sign a taurus Virgo, or a capricorn or this person is watching you in this queen of pentacles nine of cups energy where you're living a you're living good like things are going well for you all right you're stable like they they see that um, and they're watching this. Tell me more. What's the Page of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles? The Queen of Swords in reverse. Okay, what about that? The nine. So this person feels like you're doing so well without them now that you're probably... For... I'm getting a couple messages here. What's this Queen of Swords in reverse have to do with Aries? The sun in reverse, okay? Why is somebody not happy about this? The ace of wands, why is somebody not happy? Somebody's not happy about the fact that you're having a new beginning. Like, you blocked them out of their life or they feel like they block you blocked them out of your life or they feel like they're stuck somewhere or... Some of you guys literally blocked this person. Like, you blocked them and they were not expecting this. Scorpio energy again. You stop putting effort and focus onto this person. Whatever they were trying to work on or putting effort and work in, into, it's it, it's not working out, all right? It's not producing the results that they thought it was going to. So for some of you, they do have another person that they're attached to. And this person is bitter. Like, they're, they're not happy. This person, the, if they have another person, this person possibly even watches you. And they're bitter. Because you're in this Queen of Pentacles, Nine of Cups energy. You are like the total, you're it. You're, you know, you have, you're the total package. And this person's bitter about this. Somebody is bitter in their, in the Nine of Swords energy. Like they're having anxiety, sleepless nights. They're scared. I feel like also this person feels like you're someone doing so well without them that there's a low possibility that you're going to let them back into their life. Let them back into your life. So it's like, they kind of feel like they're blocked out of all this abundance and things that you, they're achieving, that you're achieving and they're not happy with it. They feel like you're, they maybe even think you're sleeping with somebody else. They think that you're having a new passionate beginning. They think you found new love and they're like on the outside looking in, but it's because this person still is one foot in, one foot out the door in a situation. They can't make up their mind about whether or not they want to completely walk away from something and move this situation. Yeah. It's like, 
I don't know if they, they keep trying to like progress a situation that, what is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse? Justice, see, someone's getting a divorce or they're going to have to go to court. Four of Cups in reverse. Mm. That what? The world, what's this have to do with Aries? The Chariot, somebody is starting to realize that they want to put an end to something now. It's, it's just, it's not going to progress. The, somebody does not want to miss opportunity with you i'm telling you they feel like you are their wish fulfillment and this person is very like determined to fight for what they feel is theirs and they feel like you are theirs like they feel like you are their wish fulfillment so let's see what else what else like if you this person's not gonna let you go easily like you may you guys may not be speaking to this person right now but they're watching you but some some of you guys block this person so they can't watch you anymore Maybe that's why they're losing sleep too. You've gone cold on them. You've blocked them. You're no longer speaking to them. You've blocked communication with them. And that's maybe why they're stressed out right now. But I still don't think that they're going to give up. I think they're going to figure out another way to contact you or to get a hold of you or something here. Because you are what they're really wanting and desiring. But I don't know why this person's not leaving this other situation. All right, so yeah, you, like I said, you guys have set boundaries and I don't think this person is very happy about it, but you got to do that. This person's self-absorbed. They love that you set strong boundaries for yourself and walk away from those who don't respect them. I was hearing that when I saw the five of swords and the emperor, it's like somebody that like you're demanding that this person respect you just by like the way, not even like telling this person like you're going to respect me. No, that's not what I mean. You're making this resp this person respect you more by you setting these boundaries. All right. We have love is a fire. So it says you set their heart on fire and the soul ever burning and unquenchable. It's a natural and undeniable connection. Anything else? Yep. The gods favor you. Now is the time. Your prayers have been heard. You will succeed and be vindicated. So we have exhausted. Yeah, they're carrying all this baggage. There's a lot of baggage that needs to be taken care of before they approach you. They're really trying to trust the situation. We have divine intervention. They're experiencing many tower moments in their life where it's helped them gain clarity on the connection. You guys definitely are in this ice queen energy or ice king energy where you're, you're icing this person out. You're shutting this person out because they're in this energy. And it's like kind of making, pushing this person to their breaking point to have to do something. It says be ready to expect the unexpected because something is brewing and it's gaining momentum. The more you guys block this person out, the more you pull your energy back. Like, it's like I said, some of you guys literally block this person. Like, they can't see you on social media anymore, whatever. It's actually making them feel like they have to do something because you are their, like I said, you are their wish fulfillment. And they're about to try to fight for this because they don't want to lose this. So, we have resurrection here and marriage. Yeah, they see you as marriage material. Someone that inspires them to create a strong foundation for marriage. Yeah, because whatever they got going on over here is not stable. I don't know what it is, but it says when you thought what you thought to be lost forever will come back and you'll witness the impossible made possible. But we have toxicity here. It's that they have a lot of toxic people around them. It says are creating distance between you two and preventing them from seeing the purity of your soul. Give me one more. Who's calling me? Oh my gosh, guys. Anything else? Um What was I going to say? Anything else for toxicity that you guys have to say? Okay, so we have two. One of them flew onto the floor. We have grieving. It's like this person is grieving the fact that they're they that you've shut them out and that you're not talking to them or whatever you block them but they're also not seeing the part that they took why you did that like that's the thing but it says justice here yeah they're stuck in grief unable to see that they still have the power to create a positive change maybe they are starting to realize how toxic they were but now but then they're going to be in like a period or they're already in that period where they're like wow i really messed up i don't know if i can fix this like it's hopeless but then it says justice they're trying to do the right thing by offering you something more solid and giving it careful consideration so yeah, haunted. Their vivid dreams haunt them. They dream of how they broke your heart and you moving on with someone else. Yep, didn't I say they was watching you? They've been watching your social media to see what you post and get clues to how to approach you. See, they do have, they did have another person, but they feel foolish for choosing this person over you. 
They cho chose someone else over you and though it wasn't what they wanted, they thought it was the right thing to do. Why though? They feel like a fool for crossing the line and messing up the connection. But I, like I just said, but too embarrassed to come forward. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they make you make them putty in your hands. They know their old conquering ways will not work with you. They know that you're not gonna like indulge or go back into this cycle with them anymore. Why did they think it was the right thing to do to choose this rival or whoever this other person was? Why did they choose this other person? Healing, I don't know. Let's see. All in all, guys, they were afraid of you for no reason. Yeah, they are afraid to trust and get hurt. The illusion is keeping them locked in anxiety, unable to act upon their love. Yeah, they've been hiding their true feelings and emotions from you. They maybe feel like that person was more like them or something like that. Leap of faith. They did not expect this love to run this deep. They're putting their pride aside and taking that leap of faith. Yeah, they're at the end of a big healing cycle, coming to peace with their past and bringing back balance in the connection. Um, I want to know why they chose, like, why did they feel like it was the right thing to do? See, this person just felt like you're, you know what it is, guys? They felt like you were more high maintenance or they had a lot. They were There was a lot they were going to have to do and change. 11-11 on the camera as I'm saying that. So this is like a, a confirmation that what I'm saying is true. They felt like they could never meet your standards or to be able to meet your standards, they were going to have to do a lot. Like they chose somebody that doesn't require as much attention or time or effort or they chose somebody that they didn't have to change for or get their shit together for. But that's why they're in the four of wands in reverse with that person. Chaos and conflict. Because they, they literally settled for somebody that they felt like would be less work or that tolerable. Anybody? Yeah. They just felt like you were, they could never meet your standards. So they just were like, I just might as well settle for this other person because I'm never going to be good enough for Aries anyway. So I'm going to just stay over here. So they settled for somebody that uh, they that doesn't require much out of them. I don't know. We have, but not yeah, look at this fear of loss. The fear of losing you is much greater than the fear of the unknown. Well, I told you they were afraid of they were afraid of you for no reason. You were just different from what they were used to, um, and it scared them. Amongst other things, they have obviously have self esteem issues. Give me a more. Yep, divine intervention. That already came out. Yep, towers. The divine is bringing in the towers for this person, making them see things clearly. Yes, yeah, when this person feels like they can't have you anymore, they feel like they really lost you, you're, you're moving on. Yeah, they see your glow up, intrigued by this new you and feel you've moved on. Now they want you back. Divine intervention will help bring the two of you together. No, oh, Spirit says eventually they're going to get it together. Just around the corner. Yeah, you can't trust. You can trust them. They've learned their lessons and have changed. You want more on that? It's okay to trust independence. But Spirit says for now, it says you are meant to learn how to be alone so you can thrive by your own efforts and be your own hero. So let's not do it. This person, Spirit says this for right, for right now, focus on yourself. Yes, you do have a soul connection with this person, but, but for right now, it's a dead end. They're in the process of going through an awakening and healing. Like things are moving in the right direction. But and you will have an opportunity to have a new beginning with this person, but you need to keep your standards high. Um, it's serious says that actually makes this person want you more, but they definitely did settle for another person because they thought that like that person would not require as much of them or they thought it would be that person was easier or um, they just they they just didn't ever feel like they would be good enough for you or they could never meet your standards. Hold on, guys. I might have to. Come on, guys. Everything's okay. So, um... What else was I going to look at? That just lost, made me lose my train of thoughts. <sighs> okay, so.
the month of April could be significant. I'm feeling very drawn to it. So that could be significant for somebody. We have, this is not the first card that said just around the corner. What was that other card that said that? Oh, the it's okay to trust card. So something is changing very soon. You have just around the corner. Anything else? Wait for answers. Yeah. Stop putting things off. What does that have to do with my collective? Careful who you trust. Yeah, be careful. Hidden blessings. It will come back. Yeah. We just be careful about letting this person back into. Wow, this is the second. We had that brewing up card and we have something is brewing. What is it? No for now. Yeah. Say no to this for now. But something is manifesting for you. Mm hmm. But it's just not the right. It's not the right time or it's not the right circumstances. This person needs to. By you taking a more passive approach, like taking a step back, not trying to chase this person, not trying to force them to choose you or see things from your perspective, it's forcing them to stop procrastinating and stop putting off making the decision that they're already in the process of making, but it's forcing them to be like, to stand on it, like to make the decision and stand on it. Because, yeah, go for it. You are ready. Yep. Somebody, yeah. Yes, it's positive going to take a while it's like at some point this person is going to take that action to completely walk away from that situation or completely make choose you or whatever but it's just not right now but yeah spirit says progress depends on you if you gotta say no to this person that like you gotta stop you gotta st stop saying yes to what you really don't want does that make sense like if this person's not coming towards you in the right energy or not coming toward you offering you exactly what you want stop settling like there is a time like there is a there is a time when you're you know it's a good thing to set, compromise and to, you know like give somebody the benefit of the doubt but I feel like you've already done this with this person and how has that worked out for you so far so, so that's why spirit is saying it's time to do things differently here um and you're gonna be happily surprised by what happens there's gonna be progress You guys may even start to be starting to feel like this is just not your person. That is just not going to ever happen. But Spirit is saying that like, how do I say that? It's like, actually, the way that things have been going with this person is it's not totally your fault. But they're saying that the way that you've been, what you've been allowing and what you, how you've been handling the situation is why it hasn't really gone in the way that you've wanted, morally desired it to. Okay. Um... So that's why they're saying you have to do things differently here. Okay. Um, what's that saying? What you can, what you allow will continue or whatever that saying is. You've been allowing this person to be, you know, what does that one card say? Be careful who you trust. Yeah. You've been letting them come into your energy, into your space or whatever. Like this. And not requiring them to change, not requiring them to step up. Um, so they really haven't felt like any reason to step up and make this, you know, because you've been letting them come into your life this way. So why would they? Yeah, fertility. So yeah, that's April energy. Mm -hmm. This is a perfect time to start new projects, new fall in love, change jobs and give birth to a new abundant life. They're telling you that now is the time. Now is the time to seek change. Now is the time is now is the time to switch up how you've been handling this person in certain situations and yeah it's gonna lead to blessings yeah a major life change will bring you great blessings prepare for the unexpected this is a magical moment yep it's something to do about a decision that you will need to make you know if you take too long to decide worries maybe you guys have also been procrastinating a decision what is decisions lessons what is decisions and lessons family see this is this person i feel like thoughts they're telling you to just stay positive this person needs to make up make a decision for themselves yeah because if you take too long to decide worries ego limiting beliefs and other the opinions of others will begin to creep in see somebody maybe listens to their family too much yeah their ego is an issue they're very they have no self-esteem they have limiting beliefs but then how do i say that them finally finally the courage the strength the clarity with all those things to may be able to decide to choose you or walk away from a situation is a part of their lessons and you got to let them you got to let them go through that 
you can't learn the lesson for them or you can't force them to learn the lesson. Um, so they're telling you to just keep your thoughts positive, keep your standards high. Don't lower your standards because this person's trying to make you feel like they're too high. No, they just can't afford you right now. Boundaries. Yeah, they're telling you to start, yeah, start building and preserving better boundaries in order to protect your emotional and mental space. And we have empowerment and they're empowering you to do this. Give yourself permission to practice your power. You're more powerful than you realize. Yeah, clarity. Create some space to get clarity so you may see the fantastic future that lies ahead of you. Yep, it's not over between you and this person and there will be expansion. But guess what's making the expansion? Again, say no. Say no to toxic connections. Say no to tainted offers and any influences around you that are harmful. Yep. So you got to start rejecting. If it's not 100% what you want it to be or if you don't 100% like the way this person's approaching you or um, coming towards you, if they're not coming towards you correct. Yeah, for some of you, they keep wanting to just have sex with you. They keep coming towards you with sexual intentions. I feel like you guys are dealing with a person that is like, they come towards you for their own selfish reasons. They come towards you because they benefit off of having you in their life. But you need to be really thinking about like, okay, if I let this person into my life, how are they going to be benefiting my life? How are we going to be, is this going to be balanced? Is this going to be reciprocal? Are they going to be benefiting, benefiting my life in the way that I benefit theirs? Or are they just coming in to leech off of me? That's what they're saying. And if that's the case, if you do feel like this person is trying to leech, you know what you need to do. All right. So, you know, it's completely up to you. Um, Spirit's definitely saying to just, you know, focus on you and what makes you happy and your hobbies and your skills and your talents and your businesses and your family and things like that. Um, what do we see? Yeah, they're telling you, you got, yeah, the conditions are not safe to continue on this path. Allow the universe to write any imbalance. Yeah, they're telling you to just let them handle it. There's nothing else you can really do about that, but... I think you're going to be happily surprised. Yeah, that's what I was kind of getting. Like, you guys have been trying to cling to control too much in this situation. It says, in order to navigate this complexity, you must loosen your grip and be adaptable and gain new perspectives. You got to kind of, like, not try to control the situation. And I'm not saying you guys are doing this out of bad intentions. You guys love this person. Obviously, you want to be with the person you love. But, like, you can't control this. You can't make this person do anything. You can't make them see things differently. You can't make them walk away from a toxic situation. You can't you know, you can't do any of those things for them. So they're telling you to just, yeah, just focus on yourself. Spend some time with you. Things are not going to actually be stagnant between you and this person as long as you maybe think that they will be. Yeah, it says, Spirit says, use this time of separation or stagnancy um, as a vehicle for self-development and increase your personal power. It'll also be like a way for you to take your power back from this person. Get more control over your life. Like, you're not going to be letting this person just, how do I say this? Because like, it'll feel very empowering to take your power back from this person. To show this person that they don't have the power over you that they thought they did. Because right now, this person thinks that they have some type of control or power over you. And they kind of almost feel like you are, like I said, you are theirs and that you are their possession. And no, it doesn't work. It's No, you got to show them that that's not the case. And if they're going to come towards you, they got to come towards you correct or is access denied. You know what I mean? So and you got to do that for yourself, not to really teach this person a lesson. You got to do that for yourself to manifest better for yourself. All right. So that's what I have for you. I hope that this resonated with you. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you could take something from this. Um, personal reading information is in the description box. And don't forget to like or follow me on Instagram and TikTok if you're interested in collective readings. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.